did 15,012 steps this morning. I'm so happy because usually I just get a 6,000 steps. But today, I would like to say hi to everyone. I'm back and I will clarify some things with you so that we won't waste so much of our time and we can use our time in a more productive things rather than making speculations and wrong assumptions. Because my friend the other day, she was searching and then my name popped out saying that I have cancer. There are so many news talaga that came out. Some of the people, my, most of my Instagram friends messaged me. I couldn't just reply right away and decided to make a video to answer all the questions that you have and all the assumptions and speculations. Let's start. Fake news is I don't have cancer. I just want to put it right out there. But it was life-threatening. I'll just tell you the whole story. I want to make this as real. January 19, I had a meeting in Butuan. I flew from Manila to Butuan. My flight was around 6 a.m. I was in the airport at around 3. Usually, when I have flights that early, I don't sleep because we don't wake up on time. So I don't, even if I have an alarm clock. Yeah, that's reality. So when I got out of the car, my right abdomen was painful. Until I got in, and then I was in the uh, check encounter, I felt cramps in my right lower abdomen. But then I was thinking, ah, baka it's just my monthly period. And then... I, it started to have that kind of pain that's it's unexplainable it starts from back lower abdomen up to my front lower abdomen it's just weird because it's really really painful it's like there's a needle piercing inside your intestines but it's just a different feeling it's not the pain that you can tolerate at first it was familiar that's why i ignored it and then as time passes, I just assumed that I can tolerate it because I know I don't get sick. I never get sick. It's not in my system to get sick. When I get sick, I don't drink medicine. I don't, I just don't. I don't have myself checked. And then I started vomiting. And then I waited for my flight so I can get to boot one. It wasn't alarming for me because I felt na parang baka kabag lang to. And dami kong assumptions, kabag because it's too early. I took a shower. And then talagang dami din hangin ng chan ko. I felt the cramps. So parang sabi ko, shocks this menorrhea. That's why I took something to prevent the pain from my monthly period. Which I don't usually drink that too. Except at that time, I drank one. And then after I got to the hotel of Butuan, the pain is still there. It doesn't go away. Everything in favor ni God talaga. The doctor said it is a um, something to do with my kidney. They have to find out what's really wrong with it so they did an ultrasound in a rule out na hindi siya appendicitis okay fast forward na confine ako sa hospital january 20 they told me that i could not just wait for the medicine to solve it because they found that my kidney is already not functioning and then i have a kidney stone that dropped in my ureter because my ureter is inflamed due to a long overdue UTI that did not heal. It was there for so many months or years, I don't know. That UTI caused infection. Na magayong ureter mo and then there's blockage of the kidney stone. So the urine doesn't really come out para ma-release. It just was stuck there. There's infection in my blood that resulted to sepsis. I did not know what sepsis was until I had it. And I did not know that it could really kill one's life within 24 hours if it's not treated. It can go that fast. It can cause internal damage. An article that I read in Google and some of my friends who had the same experience with their relatives, they say that it's um, worse than cancer. I don't know, but it happened to me. The feeling was like I couldn't move my body. At and then I felt so bloated, like I'm about to explode. It's like all my skin was stretched. I 
I was really, really bloated, like fat. When you look at me, I'm like, I don't have like this. Wala nang jaw. My hands are smaga. And my whole body was turning yellow already before my surgery. So at that time, immediately, Wesley called my family in Manila. But the doctor suggested that I should as soon as possible so they can be able to operate on me. And then they decided that I should go into surgery. Okay, fast forward. When I woke up, mixed emotion of anxiety. I couldn't use my ureter to pee. Nakakatheter ako. My urologist placed a stent. So just that ang kidney ko mapagpahinga. And then pwede nang tanggalin din naman yun ulit. After surgery was successful, kaya ka nandito. Everybody was happy. Because literally my second life. I am grateful to everyone. My family, my friends, everyone who took care of me in the hospital. Si LV, si Melona, my co-managers who visited me there. Laika, Wesley, Tin, si Eds was also there. I just want to thank all the nurses, pati yung owner ng Butuan Doctors Hospital. Sum it all up, I am grateful that Jesus provided everything I needed. There are so many things I learned. One, it is really important to have a regular checkup. Even if you don't feel anything, it's worth it. Second, take care of your body. Really, indeed, health is wealth because if your health is not at the proper state, you would not be able to reach your plans, your goals. Second, it's a gift from God. Third, watch what I eat. I'd rather watch my diet. Uh, prevention is better than cure. My doctor Lee told me that there's no activity restrictions, there's no diet restrictions. There's a medicine that I also need to take. They prefer to you should take it lifetime because I'm prone to stones. The doctors say that I'm a kidney stone former. God is a miracle maker. So, anything is possible. Ang natutunan ko to be watchful, to be cautious with my food intake. What causes the stone? You cannot eat salty. Avoid protein. Too much protein can also lead to that. I can't eat chocolates da rin pala. Or avoid. Most importantly, what I learned from that experience I had was just really to be grateful. Some people reminded me of that. To continue to be grateful for my life, for the people around me, for the things that's happening. There's always a reason and a purpose for everything that had happened in the past that's happening right now and that's about to happen. We cannot worry about tomorrow. What we can do is try to live the best that we can for today. So for today, live life, be grateful, enjoy, act in kindness, try to not to be too anxious of everything. Also, addictive habits that we are all too comfortable living in it that we have to try to eliminate or to get rid of it. But that's a long process. That's for another topic, another quality time with you guys. So there, I would just like to clarify, we cannot always believe in everything we see on social media. That does not mean it's true. So we do our due diligence of researching. The purpose of me making this video, kahit na alam ko na I'm not ready to talk about it yet, you are important to me and I love you all so much. I want you all to know what really happened. It's fake that I have cancer. I don't have cancer and I'm alive and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, everybody who really loved me and shared their time with me. I'm ending my video with a grateful heart. I just really want to thank God, Jesus, for giving me another chance to enjoy life. Bye, everybody!